Good morning traders, welcome to the Forex morning update from Phoenix Blue. It's Tuesday the 11th of July and my name's Mark Owen. Um, yesterday proved to be a little bit of a quiet day, slightly erratic, up and down. Uh, looked like we got some momentum and then it sort of died away and there was a retracement and back and forth, pretty much what we'd expect from summer liquidity really. There was uh, and no news really to get the markets moving. So moving on to today, uh, again there's no red flag news, so no major news. Um, and for anyone that didn't watch yesterday, just remember we, we're now in summer season throughout Europe and US. What that means is we're going to get lower liquidity in the markets, therefore mo more erratic market conditions. That means something that may not be major news, it could create a spike and based on that spike, because of the lack of liquidity, sometimes you can get follow through, um, meaning that traders jump on the back of it. Uh, because there's no correction afterwards and therefore what you find is throughout sort of Christmas periods and summer seasons you'll find that there can be quite a few new trends started and old trends ended so watch out for anything that's at sort of critical levels and look out for spikes. Um, a couple of little things that should be taken note of today at 11, um, 11, p 11 a.m. sorry UK time and midday we've got two um, government members um, of the of the board speaking so we've got Mr. Haldane and Broadbent speaking today so there could be some wild swings there on sterling depending what is said and then at 5 30 p.m. we've got an FOMC member, Brainard, speaking. So three times to watch out for today. Make sure you set those in the diary. Uh, don't be looking to trade anything sort of pound, pound based or dollar based an hour before or half an hour before those announcements. You don't want to be caught on the wrong side. If you're already in some trades coming up to those times, then it's up to your choice how you're going to manage that trade, whether you're leaving the trade in, whether you're going to close it out, whether you're going to reduce risk, multiple options, but that's obviously a personal preference. And then other thing that yesterday, there was um, a post-Brexit deal announced with Australia, um, and today it looks like um, there's potentially something on the cards with the US, which I suppose was inevitable. Um, however, it is just uh, speculation right now, and it does, uh, what's the best way of putting it, the odds are obviously going to be in favor of uh, of the U.S., and it looks like that if any trade deal is going to have to go ahead, it is going to go ahead, then obviously it means more to the U.K., where there's been isolated from the EU, that we may have to give up on certain areas, such as the financial services and food. So it'll be an interesting one to see how it plays out. Obviously, the the more sort of deals that Theresa May and the the government can get in place prior to any sort of pre Brexit deal means we can negotiate harder with the EU. Okay, to the charts. Well, obviously not a lot of change uh, since yesterday because it was a pretty stagnant day. We can see that the dollar has started this week. Um, well, looking at the size of the bar, it's barely moved, but it is in positive territory right now. We are only Tuesday morning, bear that in mind. A break above last week's high would signify a bullish move, I would say, somewhere into the region of the upper, upper third of that channel. Euro dollar, well, you can see, yes, there is a perfect inside doji. Um, we'll be looking for a break of that lower blue horizontal line. We're already short this market from 114.48. Um, we'll be looking to uh, potentially add into this market on a break and retest of that blue line. Um, one thing you'll notice is the big gap over here. This hasn't been closed yet, so that could be an opportunity to uh, close this gap based on a commitment of traders extreme. Um, we're currently set a FIB extension, and the weekly PA is giving us a nice hanging man, plus we're at major structure of the last two, three years. Uh, I should say from early part of 2015. So we've got a lot going for this trade. Um, we'll see where it goes. Dollar yen currently, as I took this screenshot maybe about 25 minutes ago, we're right up into those previous highs around that 114.40. A break of this should see us push on and march right up towards that upper trend line. 
Uh, there was an earthquake in Japan last night, measuring just over 5.2, I think it was, on the Richter scale. Uh, there's been no signs of a tsunami. Um, structural damage and um, any sort of uh, loss reports, so I've not heard anything particular on that as of yet. So how this will play out in terms of the currency, yet, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, had it been huge structural damages and things like that, we sometimes usually find there's an impulse buying of uh, that particular economy's currency. But it was time to uh, follow, follow the chart and do as it says. So right now we're still bullish dollar yen um, and expecting a break to the upside. Kiwi finally got some uh, traction last night. Um, I've not seen any news, but I did just see something on... Uh, on my FX book, but it came in as low as electronic card retail sales, so I can't imagine that's really had much impact. But we we got the traction, and we finally broke in the last two weeks' lows. So I can see us now moving down towards the first blue horizontal, and then with a bit of luck and trailing wind, we'll move on towards that second horizontal. So uh, we'll look to. Uh, we we'll look to capitalize on our position on Kiwi, which we've now been holding a couple of weeks. Uh, beautifully technic technical trade. Alongside that, we had um, commitment of traders extreme short. Um, okay, dollar CAD. Well, interesting chart. The reason I say this, we've we've got uh, Canadian Bank of Canada, I should say, uh, potentially pricing a uh, rate hike this week tomorrow. Uh, the question is, is it already priced in? Well, looking by looking at Bloomberg, there's a 80% chance that this is already priced in, based on statistics of traders and institutions that believe the rate hike is going to take place. So, the question is, what's going to follow the the rate hike? What the what's the statement going to say? Because if the statement doesn't really say anything, then we're probably going to see a decent retraction or correction on dollar CAD. If they're going to talk about further rate hikes, then we want to capitalize on any sort of retracement and be buying CAD itself. So that would be short dollar CAD for any confusion out there. And some people, when I was talking about the yen the other week, uh, because I talk about the, the yen in a particular manner or currency in a particular manner, when I say sell yen pairs, I was talking about weakness of yen. So here I'll be talking about strength of CAD. So that would be short dollar CAD in this instance. Um, two opportunities. I think the first one would present itself around 1.3 and the second one 1.3220. So at 1.3, because it would be such a shallow retracement, we want to make sure that you see some sort of rejection and, and, and the market turn. And then the 1.32, well, well, we can look and we can gauge that one a little bit easier because it's, it's, so it's not so close to current price levels. Gold, I see a nice little trading opportunity here. Uh, be looking for the market to come back into those uh, four-hour lows up at around one, uh, 1220. And uh, look to target sort of 1200, 1202, uh, where we'll potentially look to get long this market. I'm not looking to get long gold until we see a test of 1200 at least and a, and a rejection of that area. So gold is one to watch. WTI, uh, the day finished off with a, a rebound in price and we were looking like it potentially uh, creep back up towards that sort of $45 area. Well, we're in the middle of no man's land, so I'm not trading this chart, but opportunity here is I would ideally I'm looking for it to get into that 47.50 top of the channel where I look for shorting opportunities. Alternatively, I think long opportunities from around $43 should present a set, should present a decent buying opportunity pair, cross reference that with commitment traders extreme and decent technical levels okay that's it that's today's morning update done guys obviously not much change from yesterday until we get a little bit of traction um questions coming in that's good please keep them coming in topics to discuss charts to look at if you've got any charts that you want me to analyze and break down for you tomorrow, we'll do that. Um, the meetup for traders. I'm looking for more traders to come in, especially new, especially new traders, people that 
maybe have only just started trading, a little bit inexperienced, mixed results. You know, you should be jumping at the chance to meet people that are trading just to have a chat. You know, this this might not be the right industry for you to get into, and the only way to find out is rather than getting involved and being like the 99% of traders out there that struggle, come and meet some traders that are actually doing well and see if you share any similar habits, see if you've got the same characteristics that you could potentially succeed in this industry. You know, find out what times you've got available and talk to people that are trading similar times and putting that amount of effort in. So 25th of July is looking like the, the date, guys. Uh, I'd like to see a confirmation of people that would like to attend. Uh, we'll probably run something um, around 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock. Um, this will be held in London. So please drop us a, a comment on the video or email info at phoenixblue.co.uk. Uh, finally, if you haven't already, hit us up on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, I our social media name is Phoenix Blue Trading. Uh, we're going to be giving away, we're going to be doing a competition as well. Um, prizes will be announced over the next sort of 10 days. Uh, the competition will last 30 days. It's going to be free to enter. Uh, we're going to be giving away plenty of goodies and time with ourselves. So make sure you register to our newsletter. Stay tuned um, and pass the information around. Okay. Alright guys, have a great day and we will see you bright and early Wednesday morning. Bye bye.